Hey guys, what's up? Just uh, thought I'd uh, do another quick little video. Hey, I'm on a roll here. A couple in a few days. Thought uh, making up for lost time. Work is a little slower, thankfully, so now I've got a bit more time to spend on things. So, um, been on a bit of a mission here about getting the uh, gallons per minute flow rate up. Uh, I think if you took a look at the ones I uh, did yesterday at the videos, it's somewhere around, I think, one point. 0 0.4 to 1.12 gallons per minute that are uh, that are coming out right now. So uh, that's with the two MCP 655 pumps. And uh, so what I've done today is uh, that's the one um, flow meter that's in the back there. That's the solid steel one, the Coolant's one. I have put the uh, extender board on top of the Coolant's. Um, uh, monitor board, the PCB, it's just going to sit in the back here. I haven't fully installed it yet, it's just kind of sitting there. Um, not a whole lot else was done in the back actually, that's pretty much about it. Um, on the other side though, did a few little modifications today, so I did end up putting in my uh, Coolance Quick Disconnect here. Um, decided to put it on the front. Uh, now that I'm looking at it, it looks like it could be shortened by about an inch or so just to tighten it up. Uh, I'll do that. And then this is the second um, Coolant's uh, flow meter. Look at that sucker spin, huh? Um, the the connection job isn't the greatest. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a step back and think about how to redo that. But uh, I was really curious more than anything to see what I was gonna get. So. I did end up taking the reservoir, the 250 mil, and now we're down to the 150 mil. And it's because I put the, um, I took that one 5.25 inch bay, and I dropped one of these Coolant single reservoir pump. Um, it's not really a combo, I guess, but you probably would know what these are. What's the number on that? It's the RP401X2 which is simply a single 5.25 inch bay that you could attach two pumps to if you wanted to. I've only put one in there, so right now I'm up to three pumps, and I think I'm gonna stop at that. I don't need four, as far as I'm concerned. The one pump that I did install, I'm not sure we're gonna get a chance to really see it, it's the, uh, the uh, MCP35X. So it's a pretty powerful pump. Um, everything's still super silent. The loudest things in here are the fans. Um, the pumps are non-existent. I don't even know they're on unless I look at the flow meter and uh, kind of see where things are at. So, but uh, just to give you an idea of temps, and I know yesterday I had no success with making this work for visual, but maybe I'll try again today um, to give you an idea. So the first pump, which is coming right off the three pumps, uh, is getting 1.45 to 1.53 gallons per minute and the pump going back into the reservoir at the end of the entire loop is pulling 1.2 to 1.28 gallons per minute um, which is what I was targeting that was the whole uh, idea of this exercise is just let's take a look and see how do we get to 1.5 GPMs and um, given it's, uh, it's three pumps already in this big of a loop I'm gonna stop there um, I don't think I need to go much higher uh, interestingly enough, when I was um, checking some temps, and again, I know this isn't really going to work for the the camera I have, kind of sucks actually with uh, getting uh, screenshots and whatnot in there, but let me see if I can get in there. Things are a little overclocked right now, but it's like 30 to 34. I'm not sure I believe that, to be honest. I'm getting different temps out of the other software I'm using. But interestingly enough, the last part of the loop is the 59, uh, 590s, and uh, yeah, you're not going to be able to see that. The 590s, um, and the just by adding that third pump, um, the 590s have dropped to about 28 and 29 degrees. They were basically 28 to 31, so I'm not too unhappy with that at all. I mean, one extra pump pushed it up, I don't know what it was, so 1.12 yesterday, 1.04, whatever it was, almost a 40 to 50 percent increase on the um, on the pumps uh, or on the flow rate just by adding that one more pump. I mean it is a powerful pump, there's no denying uh, that the, the, the MCP35X is, is definitely a, a very good pump, so 
anyways, I thought I'd just uh, share that with you. I'm kind of happy about it. Um, we're going to see what, the, what it holds next. I now have to go back to the drawing board on the cable management, but I was going to do that anyway, so I'm not really going to, not going to gripe about that one too much. And then I still have to figure out that switch. Um, somebody was kindly enough to send me a link to um, an adapter so I could uh, hook the two power supplies up. And I think I'm going to order it. Um, I just have to do my research and figure out what, it is, what's, what it's all about and how to use it. So, And then uh, the other thing I'm going to do, um, I'm going to bite the bullet and get rid of some of these SSDs in here. Uh, I'm basically going to go down to three SSDs and then the one massive storage hard drive because I'm going to spread these out now. Um, the cable management is bugging me to no degree and some people are again nice enough to give me some uh, feedback on this and I don't disagree at all. I think I could do a better job with that. I think it's just um, the way this is designed to put two SSDs one on top of another. I'm not sure if you can see that. So you see those two Intel 510s. The, the cords just don't, they're not designed to be that close together. Not without doing the, um, the Molex connector, SATA power Molex connector which, I don't know, um, I don't really like it, so I'm going to change it around. So I'm just going to have the two Intel 510 SSDs in RAID 0, the Patriot Wildfire is going to be a second drive, and then I'm going to have the mass storage drive as well, and uh, actually the more I think about it, that's pretty much going to be useful for my purposes. So, anyways, uh, that's all i got to talk about right now. Um, anyways, uh, we'll chat to you later. Bye for now.